Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Xiaoya Chegong," a Xiaoya poem from the Book of Songs. This poem is about a royal hunting event. There are many poems in the Book of Songs about hunting events. Could be a、uh, hold hosted by a state lord or a small lord, or could be、uh, hosted. By the king of the Zhou, and this poem,、uh, very likely, is describing、uh, the hunting events hosted by the king. And、uh, this poem、uh, normally was considered the best poems,、uh, best poem of this type. And we also can see the huge influence. Uh, by this poem, for the later generations,、uh, one of the very、uh, best poem in the Tang poetry、uh, by Wang Wei, Guan Lie. So you can、uh, have a cross check of these two poems. They are all about hunting. I do believe these two poems actually uh, describe uh, two huntings happened in same place. But different time, of course, in the Zhou Dynasty. The other is in the Tang Dynasty. The general opinion about this poem is,、uh, it happened、uh, somewhere around the east capital Luoyang. But I don't think that's the case. And、uh, it happened somewhere around Xi'an City、uh, today, or the. Uh, Zhongzhou City in the Zhou Dynasty, or Chang'an City in the Tang Dynasty. For the authentic Zhou people, the most two important things is first pray to the God to their ancestors. The second, the weapon, 国之大事在四。在荣，荣 means weapon, but actually it has two things. First thing first, war with other states with enemies, and second, it also means hunting. So it's another form of war or、uh, make yourself prepared for the war all the time because the war not always happens, but. You should be prepared for the war every day. So the hunting,、uh, according to the code of conduct, every season there is a hunting、uh, summoned, organized by the lord, or in if in the capital area,、uh, organized by the king of Zhou. Basically, the soldiers, the weapons. And how the army was organized is one hundred percent identical between a hunting event or a real war. The only difference is、uh, the enemy is different, the wild animal or the real、uh, enemy. So you can see the hunting actually is a very very fundamental elements to maintain the. Military power or the power of the、uh, Zhou Dynasty. So basically, this tradition、uh, lasts until to the Qing Dynasty, more or less. In the Qing Dynasty, the emperor、uh, organized and、uh, went to the huntings in the autumn time, normally、uh, for quite many times, and.、Uh, In the Han Dynasty and in the Tang Dynasty,、uh, the、uh, capital is almost the same place with the Zhou Dynasty.、Uh, they still maintain a large area、uh, or a field reserved for this purpose. And in the Han Dynasty, the garden was so called Shang Lin Yuan. The area. It basically is along the South Mountain, uh, roughly three、uh, hundred and forty square 
kilometers. So, so it's a big areas. So I do believe、uh, this、uh, might be the quite similar situation in the Zhou Dynasty. They have some of the very delicate、uh, place filled for this very important military drill. Okay, let's get to the point. 我车技工，我马技童。My chariot has been fixed up. My horses were refined with order. So this is a preparation for the hunting before the hunting. So, and also, this is how the title comes from,、uh, from the second and fourth. Character Chu Gong. So my chariot has been fixed up.、Uh, my chariot is ready. Okay, let's continue. 四母旁旁，驾延初东 So we have seen this many times. The four、uh, strong male horses. They are running、uh, with the sound. Pang 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 is the sound. Simulation and also it described it's a, uh, it's a big, a very big horses, and 驾延初东 and、uh, we we are ab about driving to the east. So this also gave us the direction where they uh they are about to hunting their hunting ground. 田车骑好，四母孔府。My chariot has been ready, and these four strong horses is so big. So there's two things. 田车田 in today's language means the field, the farming field, and in the Zhou Dynasty it means hunting. So 田车 means the chariot. The The chariot for war or for hunting, they are using the same chariot. Kong Fu Kong Confucius. Okay, that's the same character. Kong means big giant, and Fu also make means big and giant. So, if you read some other、uh, poems in the Book of Songs, you would know the、uh, logic, the philosophy. Philosophy of the Zhou people: the bigger, the better, or the more beautiful. So the almost equivalent, the、uh, giant, big as beautiful. So this is actually express their、uh, adorable to these、uh, nice-looking, powerful horses and chariot. Okay, let's continue. Dong Yu Fu Cao. 驾延行守 So in the east, there is hunting ground. There's hunting gardens.、Uh, let's drive our chariot to there and do our hunting. Fu means a garden with veggies, with flowers, in today's、uh, language. But in the Zhou Dynasty, look at the word. A surrounded area,、uh, which is for hunting. The tian means hunting. It only means hunting, and、uh, also you see the upper part、uh, above the tian is a grass. So the, this is a wild,、uh, basically wild gardens, but surrounded with walls, and.、Uh, In the Han Dynasty, you can see how big it is—340 square kilometers big. And in the Zhou Dynasty, it may be even bigger. And、uh, Shou means hunting. So why there's so many、uh, characters with same、uh, meanings of hunting?、Uh, we have Tian,、uh, we have Shou, and.、Uh, We have Miao in the next paragraph. Basically,、uh, it's hard to tell actually, but in a book written in the Han Dynasty, so-called Gu Liang Zhuan,、uh, it has words. 
，春月甜，夏月苗，秋月收，冬月熟。So, ah,、uh, it gives the hunting in different seasons different terms. Uh, but it actually is hard to tell what's the real situation in the Zhou Dynasty. But uh, one thing we are quite sure: all those、uh, words means hunting. Okay, let's continue. 栀子鱼苗，选途萧萧。The Lord is about、uh, going to hunting, and、uh, they are busy with. Uh, organizing all the soldiers and all the armies. Zhi Zi,、uh, the lord or the noble person, is about going out, leaving his home. Yu Miao. So we here we know Miao is hunting, not as today's meaning seedling or junior plant. It just means hunting in the Zhou Dynasty. 选图 means choosing and organizing the soldiers. So the soldier basically, uh, uh, it could be categorized in two big type. The nobles they are on the chariot, and、uh, the normal citizens basically they are the farmers, they are the craftsmen, they are the soldiers, uh, running on the ground. Xiao Xiao means. Uh, very busy and noisy、uh, status. So、uh, you can imagine so many people gathered、uh, in front of the ancestors' temples. They claim their weapons and they try to form their、uh, troops, their、uh, band of brothers. So there's a big chaos, very busy and、uh, noisy. Okay, let's continue. Jian Zhao. 射矛，博受于鳌。So we have um、uh, some other poems we about the flag, the battle flag. Zhao is the flag, uh, to summon all the people to come to serve in the army. So in normal days, there's no army. There's farmers, craftsmen, and noble peoples. They lead their, uh. Normal life, and when this battle flag, the Zhao, the battle flag was put up, everybody know, wow, there's something, or either a hunting, or either a war with real enemies, and the Mao is the signal flag、uh, in the battlefield to、uh, to give the order、uh, to the soldiers. 建造射矛 So whenever you saw these two terms, you know it's the signal to summon all the people to to come to the uh the ancestors' temples and uh, uh, try to form their army at this place. 博受于鳌 So it gives the purpose very clearly. It's not、uh, a real war. It's a hunting, and 博受 to To combat with the wild animals, 博兽，鱼鳌。呃 ，so here, uh, the general opinion explained this term as a real name, uh, around the east capital or Luoyang city today. Uh, anyhow, I don't think so. Just look at the very original writing of this character, 鳌。Uh, it's Tells the thing very clearly. It's some place. It's a concept. The right is a people with a weapon on his hand. On the、uh, lower left is the wild animals, and in the upper left, it's the grass. So it tells you very clearly this is a hunting ground. So from today's history studies, there is no. Army at the East Capital. So unless the King of Zhou, he has a war, uh, near the East Capital. Uh, so after the victory, normally they will hold a ground hunting as well. And、uh, from the history books, there's no such 
uh, victory uh, near the East Capital. So very likely, uh, or ninety nine percent chance, this hunting、uh, described in this poem happened in the in the West Capital or their original capital, Changzhou. At the time being, the soldiers, the armies, basically, they lives in the area surrounded the west capital, and、uh, if they doing a normal hunting, rather a war, they will do this hunting somewhere not far from their、uh, place. 驾比四母。四母意义 I'm driving this chariot with four horses. These four horses are so powerful and big. 意义 also means big. So just think about it. The bigger, the better. The bigger, the more beautiful. So that's the logic of the Zhou people. So here, everything、uh, it described. It means so lucky and so good in its best conditions. 赤府金细，会同有意。So be careful with 赤府金细 This is about the general. Most likely, the king of Zhou. Uh, because 赤府 is a Decoration normally made of、uh, leather, a piece of leather that cover from the、uh, abnormal to the knees, and the, every noble people on the chariot they will have this piece of leather. But the color means the red color.、Uh, normally, only dedicated for the king of Zhou or the very few most. Prestigious, uh, laws, state laws. 金细，细 is the 树 uh, and is decorated with uh golden uh metals. So it looks like a golden uh shoes. Uh, so here it describe how glory and how shiny the general, the king of Zhou, it is. 会同有异 and still they are still in the stage of organizing the、uh, armies. So the people is coming all along to this place, normally in front of the ancestors' temples,、uh, endlessly. 有异异 means the、uh, the silk when you、uh, make the silk from its warm. The silk looks like. Endlessly, and here it describes the people. It's just like the silk; it never stops. It endlessly, people are coming from the suburb, from the town, to、uh, gather here and、uh, form this army or for hunting. 绝师济次，公师济条 The shooters are all ready, and the bow and arrows. Are fine-tuned and in its best status. Jue is a ring on the thumb to hold the string of the bow, and shi is a, a leather covered on the left arm of the shooter to protect his arm when shooting. So, jue shi ji ci means the shooter has. Uh, dressed himself up. He's ready. Zi means okay, ready. And、uh, his weapon is ready as well. 公师计条 Okay, let's continue. 射夫计同，助我举资 So all the shooters and soldiers, they are in order. So which means the army, the troop was、uh, in its.、Uh, Order already, and、uh, they are the people who will help me to load all those prey after the hunting. 
Zi is a long word. It means the corpse of the prey. Okay, let's continue. 四黄计价，两餐不已。The four yellow horses is running already. It's running. The two side horses they don't lean against each other. So this is a very important things. If you have the chance to visit the Terracotta Warrior Museum in、uh, near Xi'an City, they have a special room. Have two bronze chariot of the Qin Dynasty, and、uh, there's a very very detailed introduction on the, on all the、uh, components on a chariot. And one thing is very important when driving the chariot with four horses to make the two side horses not rush onto the two inner horses. There's of course some of the special components to avoid the two side horses, but it still needs some of the skill of the drivers to control. All the four horses running in a very disciplined、uh, way in a harmony. So here,、uh, I described two side horses, 两餐 two side horses. They don't lean against each other, which means the driver has an excellent driving、uh, skills, and、uh, they are well trained soldiers. Okay, let's continue. 不失其驰，舍失如破。The chariot and horses running with no fault, and when they shoot the arrows, it kills. 不失其驰，不失 means they don't make any fault when they are running. So which means they are running in a perfect way. They are running smoothly, so this also explains the、uh, previous sentence. 两餐不已 So this is、uh, the same meaning with 不失其驰 The four horses is running in a harmony, in a smooth way, perfectly. 舍失 shooting the arrow, 如 um is 而 which means afterwards, uh or end. So. They shoot arrows, and afterwards, it kills. Poor means kills,、uh, to hit on the target. Okay, the next paragraph. 萧萧马鸣，悠悠佩金。The horses, uh, neighed as with the sound of 萧萧 and The flags, the uh flows gen gently. Xiao Xiao is the sound simulation of the horses, and、uh, Yu Yu described the flag. Pei means the tail of the flag, the long sleeve of the tail of the flag. It uh flowed slowly, gently. Okay, let's continue. 徒欲不惊，大袍不盈。The soldiers they are very confident and、uh, calm. The royal kitchen, uh, is very simple. Uh, they are not stuffed with many food. 徒 the soldier on the ground. 欲 the soldier, the noble on the chariot. So. When they doing the hunting, facing the wild animals. A tiger, uh, a、uh, a wild pig, or any of the very dangerous situations, they appeared very confident、uh, and very calm. So this actually expressed or described how、uh, tr- uh, brave and how well trained this soldier, this troop, it is. And、uh, 大袍不盈 actually is a little bit hard to understand why when they talking about a hunting and it talk about the royal kitchen. So this is a sort of the 
philosophy、uh, of the Zhou people. There is another phrase, uh, 青庙茅屋大陆月席青庙 the temple for the king's ancestors. So that's the most important place for the Zhou people. Mao Wu is a very simple, um, a、uh, simple house with the roof made of grass. So it's the most simple, uh, house. Uh, and Da Lu Yue Xi Da Lu means the the chair out for the king. The Da the the means it's for the most, uh, noble person, the king. The chair out for the king. Is very simple,、uh, with very simple sheet on it. So the philosophy here、uh, with 大袍不迎 or 青庙茅屋大落月席 it's the means the the more highest level position or the more noble it is、uh, in the、uh, real physical form. It shows the most simple and humble. Ways. Let's review this sentence again. Tu yu bu jing. The soldiers they are so confident and calm. Whenever they face the most dangerous situation, they looks as so easy. And、uh, this is the praise word for this troop, for the、uh, soldiers. They are the best soldiers of the camp. 大袍不迎 ，so 大袍 actually very indirectly tell us is something about the king. So king is the general in this event, and of course he's the most prominent figures or most outstanding figures in this poem. And、uh, 大袍不迎 means he is the most noble and most powerful person, but he shows. His humble and his gentle in any situation, no matter it's very dangerous or it's in a normal day, and also, 大袍不迎 the royal kitchen won't be stuffed, implied that all the praise, uh, should be shared among everybody, and、uh, the king won't take. Too much. The most of the、uh, praise will shared for the by the soldiers. Okay, the last paragraph. 之子于征，有闻无声 The Lord is hunting now, and you can hear the noises、uh, from the animals, but not a sound from human. 声 Only means the sound from human, so this is the difference.、Uh, so here it describes a very very subtle、uh, aspects of a hunting. So when the hunting is in its most、uh, busy time, everybody is one hundred percent focused on the praise. There will not any sounds. Chattings or talkings among peoples. The only sound is made by the chariot, the horses, the prays. And this is a very, very、uh, keen and careful observation by the poet. 有闻无声。云以君子，展也大成。The Lord is. Fair and generous, he's shining with his magnificent claws, and he would achieve the great result, the most great result. Yun means just, fair, and so this is a most important uh, character uh, for a lord. Zhan. Is the most、uh, magnificent clothes used in the most important、uh, ceremony or events, and that's only dedicated for the king of Zhou or the very few most.
prestigious lord. So we have seen this word in other poems in the Book of Psalms. Uh, 大臣 means they they will achieve uh the most uh result. They will achieve the greatest result. And also, I have a wild uh guess is. 成 and the 胜 the character the chair out, uh, very likely to be share the same sound. So here, so very likely the last sentence has two meanings or double referring. One is the close is magnificent. The chair out of the king is so magnificent, which implies a victory. A powerful、uh, king, powerful kingdom. The chariot always、uh, refers or strongly implies a victory,、uh, a powerful king. And the, the second referring or meaning is with the magnificent clouds.、Uh, the king is shining bright.、Uh, we will achieve. The greatest result, 大成 So finally, the focal point goes to the Lord, goes to the King of Zhou. So this is a very natural logic. Even in the very recent、uh, centuries, in some of the kingdoms, whenever a big victory or some of the great results achieved, the that Feet would very likely to be contributed to the king or the queen. So that's the nature of people. That's the nature of country. We think we are so different, but fundamentally, there's something never changed. Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.